The AFTV USA Tour is brought to you today by NordVPN. NordVPN offers you secure and private internet browsing on the go with maximum protection. You can stream all your GeoBlock programs and it's fast. From a click of a button, you can be anywhere in the world. Feel invincible with NordVPN and get an exclusive deal by clicking this link in the description. Yes, my people, welcome back to AFTV. We're here in Orlando, Florida. It's absolutely baking, but tonight we are playing Orlando City here at the Explorer Stadium. And I'm gonna be asking fans around the stadium, Alexandra Zinchenko, are you happy with that? Are you happy as an Arsenal player and what are your feelings and emotions around that? Let's see what they have to say. Okay, so we're out in Orlando, Florida. It's very hot today. Obviously, got some Arsenal fans with me. Lovely to meet you both. Let me, let me just ask you about uh, Alexandra Zinchenko. Yep going to be an Arsenal player. How do you feel about it? What's the mood on, on your sense? Really excited. He's a quality player. You know, he, he has played very well at City. He's got the pedigree that, you know, City players have, having, you know, won basically everything in the last few seasons. Um, but yeah, no, he brings a lot of experience. He's obviously someone that Arteta knows. Yep. Um, and he's already got that foundation with Arteta, kind of like Jesus. Um, so I think it's exciting and, you know, just it's adding depth, which is something that Arsenal need. Like they're, you know, totally healthy, yep. starting 11 best 11 is good yep. but when guys get injured on international break or during the league or something like that you need to have that depth that other teams have mm. um, and so he's someone that's going to bring that depth absolutely are you happy both of you with, with that signing yeah, yeah i want more but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good answer what about you sir? yeah i'm pretty happy about it i i like that he gives us some rotation options and potentially could play left back or center mid so where have you you've got your suitcase with you where have you traveled from I am coming. I am coming from DZ right now, okay. but I am from Bolivia. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Right, well, listen, the talk right now, Alexandra Zinchenko, Arsenal player. Are you excited by that? Is it a good sign for Arsenal? I, I think he's going to improve yes. our, our squad. So, yeah, we, we need uh, a second left back, so it is going to be awesome, man. He's travelled all the way from Switzerland for this, for this game tonight, yeah, I believe, for this USA Tour. Um, I want to ask you, all the talk right now is around Alexandra Zinchenko, who's just signed to Arsenal. Are you happy with that signing? Yeah, of course I'm happy because yeah. I think it's another opportunity for, uh, I think he's right, right back. Yeah, a left back, uh, yep. Yeah. Left back? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He can play, he can play, to be fair, he can play, play both. Both, yeah. yeah. And I think it's a, yeah, it's good. Yeah? But listen, the talk right now, Alexandra Zinchenko, yeah. Arsenal player, are you guys both, are you happy with that signing? Come on, you gotta be buzzing. I mean, regardless of what, like I was just talking over, I just had a little conversation with Turk over there. Basically, when you bring in anybody that's on a, on a B team like Man City, whether you bring in a B team or anything, mm -hmm. that's still a player that was fighting for a position to be on an A team. Yeah. So you bring in somebody like that who's hungry and now has a desire, just like we see with Gabriel Jesus, right? We see the hunger, we see the desire to actually prove a point. Even though he said publicly that he's a team player, he's this, he wants to be more of a role player, assertive, but look at what he brings. He brings that extra hunger that you see on the pitch. Regardless, it's preseason. Regardless, it's preseason, guys. <laughs> let's, let's slow it down. I want everybody to understand. We're slowing it down. Down. Yeah, because they'll come in the comments. Yeah, they'll yeah, say, yeah, "Relax." Yeah. Well, I know you guys are saying relax, but let's 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 be optimistic. No, it definitely. We know we want to. As as every other team out there in the league, they're all optimistic. I don't want to talk too much, but they're all optimistic about their club. Tottenham is all optimistic. But guys, we should be very optimistic with this window that we've been having, and it's yet to be done yet too. So let's bring in a couple more signings. Let's keep fighting for first team play because that's what we need going into the season. Yeah. Talking about optimism, you spoke to me just off camera there. How optimistic? are you feeling this season? What is it? It's uh, July... It's July 19th? 19th. July, 19th. Yeah, July 20, well, 20th, 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 excuse me. <laughs> I said it. I'm going to say it again. I'm saying on camera. AFTV. We're winning the league. <laughs> Hands down. Big statement. Our back line is crazy. Yeah? Crazy. He's, are you happy with Zinchenko? Because you spoke about defenders. Are you happy with Zinchenko then? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy yeah. with it. It's a decent signing. Um, I would like to get Telemans. That's why we, that's why I want us to really, really get Telemans. Yeah. But it's a decent signing. Nice. You Our know, back line is crazy. You know, regardless of Telemans, but I like the Zinchenko thing because I, I really feel like we did need cover for Tierney. We did need some backup. And if that's where they're planning on playing him, and then we could always use like a midfielder when we're playing Europa League or the little small tournaments. You never know if they can plug him in there. You know, they, I know they want to give some of the young youth some time in those kind of leagues. But when we plug him in, when we get to the latter part of the tournament, because we will get to the latter part of the tournament, yeah. we need to have players that we can 
interchange, bring out, and then put back into the league come Saturday or Sunday. With Mikel Arteta, where do you think he's going to deploy Zinchenko? Do you think he'll be more of a left back, or do you think he'll use him in the midfield? I, I could see him more as left back. Yeah. I really do. I think that's kind of. <laughs> I think that's kind of where he's going to be. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I, I'm going to. I'm going <laughs> to. Uh, it's a movement. Zinchenko in midfield. Okay, that's everyone's on Robbie's side. So I just. <laughs> I love that James. I love that James had to get involved with that, yeah. but he, he's, he's very much believes that he's going to be in the midfield. But I, I'm yeah. with you. I think he'll play left back I, as well. I think so. I think Arteta, like, you know, when he has his options all available, I think he, he likes to having you know someone at Tommy Astor at right back, and then have someone like KT or, or yeah. Zinchenko on the left back for sure. Just straight flat back line, and it seems to work. So, yeah. you know, if things evolve or whatever and he wants to end up throwing him in midfield like James is saying then so be it exactly but I think, I think he's the kind of guy that's just going to be like yeah put me wherever makes sense and you know he'll give 110% every single game okay so but what position what do, do you think Mikel Arteta is going to deploy him in let's start with you and it really depends if we get another like Thielman's just sitting there on a plate for us yep. but we don't seem to want to pull the trigger because <laughs> um, I would love to see Zinchenko at left back and Thielman's uh, and the center mid yep. spot when we play the more cupcake teams and Probably Tierney at left back when we play the real big boys. Nice. Cupcake teams. I've never heard that expression, but I'm, no. I'm going to start using it. I like that. <laughs> you probably know what it means, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah? yeah, no, I do. <laughs> so what about you? Do you think he's going to play left back or midfield? Where do you think Mikel Arteta is going to use him? I, I agree with him. I think against maybe easier teams where we try to break them down, I think he'll play left back because he's a, probably a better passer overall than Tierney. He's better on the ball. And then I think when we play some of the tougher teams that he could go up into center mid and then Tierney could lock up back there against... Yeah. Like Salah or whoever it needs to be. Yeah. Okay. Does he go? Does he go play left back for Arsenal? Or does he go into the midfield? Where do you think Arteta is going to deploy him? I think he's going to be left because we have a lot of midfields. But we will see. Yeah. Arteta can surprise us. It's very true. I want to ask you: Do you think Mikel Arteta is going to um, have him starting straight away at the start of the season, or do you think it's going to be a bit of time for him to build into the squad? Or do you think Arteta is going to use him straight away? No, I think he's going to use him straight away because we need him. Yes. We need him on the left side. You yes. know, Tierney's out, so. Mm. We might need him right away. Yeah. Would you, do you think he's going to play there or do you think he's going to play in the midfield? Because obviously there's, they, he's got enough talent to play in that midfield, but it's looking like he's going to be more of a left back, full back for Arsenal. I think at Arsenal he should be a left or right back okay. because um, when they play in 4 3 3, he's not a winger like that, yeah. like Saka or Pepe or uh, Martinelli. So. Mm. And we got Marquinhos as well, and that's, yeah. yeah. Another great opportunity. Okay, do you think Ole Alexander Zinchenko goes straight into the Arsenal side? Is, is, is that what you believe, or do you think he's going to take a bit of time on the bench, or do you think Arteta is going to deploy him straight away? It depends. When he trains well, he, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you think Arteta is going to play him, though? Where Do you think he's going to play in left back or, or midfield? Uh, I, I think you'll probably play him in the midfield area. Okay. Supposed to, yeah, because we have too many defenders. I mean, we, he's versatile. We could play him in the back, we could play him in, the, um, in mid. Mm. But I think he's going to put him in the mid, mid area, for sure. I, I, I'm still feeling I like him I still feel like they're going to put him in the left back role. It's only because you know with tyranny, it's just listen. We all, all us Arsenal fans, want tyranny to do super, super out there. Have we want him to season. healthy yeah. season, healthy <laughs> season. Because when that boy is on the pitch, that boy is madness, and we want him on that pitch. But if we need to bring in quality to back him up, that's what we're bringing in. Does Zinchenko start straight away? As soon as the season starts, is, he, is Arteta saying he's going to be in the starting eleven, or is he going to wait for a bit and put him on the bench and slowly integrate him into the side? He gonna start him. He gonna start him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it, it, I mean, it depends. You can't get a player like that and not start him. Yeah. You mm. can't. I mean, I guess it depends. It depends. It's it's where Tierney's fitness is. It, it really all depends on that. And if that's where he's bringing him in at the left back, I guess. I guess when we finally bring him in and we see, you know, if he gets one preseason game under his belt, we'll kind of get an idea of where he is. I don't want to speculate too much because, you know, we don't we don't know. But if they put him in the left side, I mean, uh, depending on how Tierney's fitness, he did get a little nink, didn't he? Get yeah, a little... yeah, and he's, and he's, been, he's been warming up. He only played 30 minutes in Nuremberg, come off early. They're monitoring his fitness at the moment. So, so there you go. That could be, that could be reason to put, put Alexandra, you know, in that position. So. Okay. So that's it. You've heard from the fans here outside the Explorer Stadium in Orlando, Florida. Let us know your thoughts on Zinchenko, please, down in the comments below. Like this video if you've liked the video and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time on Ask the Fans. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So check it out.